That's right, I'm building a volcano. Hey everybody, welcome to the Crafting Brothers. So about a month ago, one of our viewers sent us a comment asking if we would build a volcano. And I thought to myself, I haven't built a volcano since I was a kid. Well, it turns out he is a kid. He's 11 years old and he wants us to build a volcano. And I thought to myself, sounds like fun, but it can't just be any volcano. This is gonna be a big boy volcano. Go big or go home. Let's do it. So I found this sample piece of XPS foam glued together in my garage and I figured this would be a good place to start for the top of the volcano. Now it's time to melt some of the foam with my favorite chemical, NASDAR. As usual, a coat of Mod Podge and black paint will seal the piece for painting. The whole terrain piece is going to be XPS foam, so I'm going to cut out all of the other pieces that I'm going to need. I figured one big piece for the bottom and then these two other pieces that will extend the height of the volcano. For the base piece, I'm going to use my utility knife here to cut out some random chunks out of the foam. And I'm also going to be using my fingers here to pinch off and just randomly cut this base piece. So I'm just going to shave off some of this sample piece on the very top just to make this flow together a little bit better. It was a little disproportionate. And we'll go back and remelt some of this foam. Okay, I've got the basic shape here down the way I think it's going to work. And from here, it's just going to be all about melting the foam. And just remember that less is more when you work with this chemical. Now what I'm gonna do on the volcano part is actually take a narrower brush here and load it up with NASDAR and that's gonna allow me to make the lava channels down the sides of the volcano. So just by going a little heavy on the NASDAR at the bottom of the volcano will give you these lava pools. Okay, and we all know what's next. It's the Mod Podge in black paint. Okay, I've got this small armature tree that I've made out of wire. There's a whole other video on how to do this. But basically this is made from copper wire, just twist it up. Uh, and it's painted and uh, this one is actually the perfect size for this volcano landscape. So I'm going to put the foliage on here and what I'm using is some of this Ultimate Crafters glue just because it's super thick and a paintbrush and we're just going to get the tips of these branches here and then we'll get the foliage on there. And what, I've, what I'm doing here is I'm dipping it in some ground up clump foliage. I've actually got some foliage that I put in a coffee grinder. It's a little coarse the way you buy it from the store. So what I do is put it in a coffee grinder and just grind it up a little bit. And it ends up working out really good for this foliage. I'm trying not to get too much glue on here. I don't want it to be too clumpy. I'm finishing off the tree with some of this Woodland Scenics fine grass turf. Okay, and there you go. Perfect little armature tree. That's going to go on the volcano landscape. So I stopped my Mod Podge painting here because I wanted to do something additional on this terrain piece. I wanted to make a water feature and also include this cool armature tree. I'm going to put a link up on the screen to my Hags Hut video where I detail how to make these armature trees. They're super realistic and very cool and uh, they, they're gonna look great on this piece. So I'm gonna go ahead and melt a water feature right here and then finish the Mod Podge coat. Okay, so that's gonna be our little water feature. Our Mod Podge coat is looking pretty dry, so I'm gonna go ahead and give a coat now of Burnt Umber, which is basically a dark brown.
Okay, for the freshwater pool, we're gonna do a, a bunch of layers of watercolor, starting with a dark blue. And the idea here is to build up the layers in this little water feature so it looks like it's deep in the middle and then it gets shallower as you go out. You don't have to go all the way up here, just kinda wanna coat the bottom part here and we'll let that dry and then we'll go to the next layer. While I am waiting for a few things to dry, I'm gonna continue with this water feature here and I'm gonna layer the colors here to make it look as though it's getting shallower and the colors will get lighter as I do that. So I'm gonna use this uh, emerald green to give it kind of a little bit of a tropical look. And I would call this almost like a wet dry brush. You wanna take some of the paint off and then what you wanna do is just try and hit some of the high areas you want to get more of this in the shallow areas here. I've chosen two other colors I'm going to use for this. I'm going to go over now with an Indian turquoise, which is basically just a light blue. And then this is a uh, Irish cream, I think, or mint. Yeah, Irish cream. I'm going to use that last, and I think those two colors will go well. And again, you're really just trying to establish the lighter or shallower parts of the pool by using this lighter shade of paint. All right, and now for some Irish cream. This is kind of a light wet brush here, so I don't want to use too much paint. So I always say you can put the paint on, but you can't take it off, so less is more to start here. Okay, so I have decided to go with a pewter gray dry brush, kind of a wet dry brush, but uh, pewter gray is what I'm gonna go with. And this brush doesn't have to be too dry, so you can give it a good coating of this. Definitely want to leave some, make sure you leave some brown in there. So I've decided that a tan dry brush is going to work over the gray. So we're going to go ahead and do that now. And this of course is going to get a black wash. Uh, so we will be toning down all of these colors. So I'm going to load up the brush and I am going to take off most of the paint. And you can see how this just highlights the edges of the rocks here and gives it a a little bit more definition. Okay, so I'm pretty happy with that. I decided I wanted to add a little more color to the rock here, so I've got two colors. I've got a burnt sienna and an iron oxide. And what I'm gonna do is take a little bit of both on my brush, mainly the burnt uh, raw sienna because it's, it's a little more orangey. And we're going to just dry brush these in some of the areas here. So we're ready to apply our wash now, so I should probably take a few seconds to tell you what's in it. This wash is made with water, Liquitex, Jet Dry for a flow aid, and we've got mostly black ink and a little bit of brown ink as well. I'll leave a link to Black Magic Crafts recipe for black and brown washes in the comments. When I'm applying this wash, I wanna make sure not to get it in my water feature there, but I'm gonna apply it liberally everywhere else. And it's gonna look a little opaque when you first put it on, but when it dries, it will definitely get darker. I've also decided to add a little bit of green wash in some of these areas here just to sort of highlight some the fact that there's some maybe some green growing around the base of the mountain here and on the cliffs. Okay, here is our washed volcano and it is looking pretty cool. Now I'm at the point where uh, I really like how this turned out with the wash. I'm just waiting for the rest of it to dry there. And now what I'm gonna do is put some of the landscape detail on here. The last thing I wanna do is the lava flow and the pool here because those have to cure for a while. And uh, you really can't flock a piece with grass or anything uh, after you pour these pools because it will just stick in there and then it will, it will ruin the piece. So that's roughly where I'm gonna put my tree. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put some flocking down in this area here. I'm going to start with the clump foliage because I want to put the rough stuff on here first and then I'll go back and do some of the fine, fine stuff, the fine turf. So I'm taking this area in here is where I want to have the, the rougher turf. And a lot of times the tendency will be to 
just take this off right away, but really what you want to do is let the glue dry. So I thought I'd also add some fine turf here next to the rough foliage just to give it a smoother look. I decided to pre-paint my lava flows here with a red, yellow, and orange paint, but I am going to use a catalyst later, which I'm actually going to pour down these lava flows. So what I'm going to do now is I have to tape off some of these runoff areas because when I put the catalyst in here, it is going to run into these and I don't want it to be pouring all over the place. Okay, so when I pour my catalyst, um, hopefully that will contain it and keep it from making a complete mess. I'm using a two-part glaze coat catalyst here, and what I want to do is mix these together thoroughly. They have to be well mixed, and then I'm going to add my paints, which is going to be red, yellow, and orange. Now I started pouring the catalyst down the top of the volcano, and real quickly I saw that this was going to make a big mess. So I found an eyedropper and figured that I could just sort of feed these lava flows a little bit at a time. Next I mix the catalyst for the freshwater pool and I've just added a little bit of blue and green dye here. You'll also notice I've glued the armature tree to the base. After pouring the catalyst I need to pop the bubbles on the very top so I don't see those later on. And here is the final product. I have to say I think this volcano terrain piece came out pretty cool. I thought it would be cool to showcase this volcano with Greg's terrain pieces that he built recently. I'll put a link up to that video. These terrain pieces are amazing and it just created a really cool scene here. I even used Greg's lava tiles here to extend out to my volcano. This video was a lot of fun to make. I actually feel like a kid again. So thanks to Beholders Craft for this suggestion and uh, hit the like button, send us your comments. Please subscribe if you haven't already and we'll see you next week for another build or challenge.